Hey, what's up, guys? This is Get Beefed On, and today I'm going to be giving you an Adobe After Effects tutorial. But, um, yeah, actually, here's just some info for all my subscribers. Um, I'm going to now be doing each uh, tutorial, like, with uh, something on your computer. I'll be doing those all in high definition. And that's just for your information. Alright, so here you got your Adobe After Effects. You're gonna want to do is uh, hit Control I to import some media or you know file and go down to import. But Control I is just quicker. All right, I specially recorded something for something small at least for this video. And uh, yes, this is uh, the screen shake type of thing in After Effects. Because when I first started, I was. Uh, used to Sony Vegas where you know you just shake it but no it's not like that not in here alright so then you drag it down to the composition so it just makes it automatically makes composition the size that you that uh the clip is but I'm actually just gonna gonna fast forward it right here Right about the, oh yeah sorry I'm not really prepared for this okay so we got that to go there and then just quickly trim that off right about there will be good alright now when I first started out with After Effects I just thought you know right here you know you could shake you can move it around and stuff well that's not how you do the screen shake to do a screen shake, um, it actually automatically creates it, so it saves you so much time instead of like in, in um, Sony Vegas where you have to move it, go to the next frame, move it, go to the next frame, move it. It's this is just a lot quick, click, uh, a lot quicker. There we go. All right, uh, what you want to do is go down to uh, where you have your media for your um, for your composition. Or you could go to uh, layer, and then so if you were to do it from right here, because this is a quick, this is a quicker. You right click, go to new, null object. You go to that, and then ah, uh, now let me just bring it to the beginning of the clip. Actually, I want to do a screen shake right at this headshot, right at that nose scope for the double. So what you're gonna want to do is uh, click the null object. Hit P on your keyboard, then this position type of thing shows up. Now what you're gonna want to do is I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in right here, and then so I want it to shake right about, start shaking right about there. So what you do is uh, you click the stopwatch. It adds a keyframe, and then you go forward a couple. I'm going to make it stop shaking right about there. And then you click add keyframe. Then you highlight these. Then either if you haven't had it opened yet, you go to window. And then the wiggler. But I already have it open. Alright, now here's one thing that a lot of you... Alright, first you want to do apply to. And then... Oh no. Uh, noise type. There we go. Noise type. You want to make that jagged so it shakes like v violently. All right, now here's one thing that people do not cover: frequency is how much it shake is how often it shakes. And well, I didn't set my uh, composition right, but 30 frames a second. So every frame it would shake. So I'm gonna put it to that. Magnitude is how large the shake is. I'm gonna set that to seven then you hit apply and that makes all these keyframes right here now let me just zoom in here now if you want you can actually make the uh... first you can delete this one keyframe right here so i could go to keyframe assistant oh wait never mind i don't, I don't remember how to do that never mind don't don't listen to that part right there but uh... it creates all these different keyframes and it actually shakes the screen a little bit see this red box it sort of shakes uh, if we move in 
see all those keyframes that's just from the shake but if you notice if uh, we go through nothing's happening this is because the null object is just it's just one object it's nothing is uh, it's not apparent of anything uh, now I had this zoomed in way too big but yeah see how it doesn't shake what you want to do is uh, you see this swirly line here you click that and you bring it to the null object and now see how it it removed your preview and then see it starts to do the shake now I don't know if I can actually get a preview going on here now, let me shrink my sad face let me shrink my work area so that we can get there yeah let me just try to pre render preview this alright uh, it didn't come out that great come on yeah like you can change it around and if you didn't like it you can highlight them change the magnitude or the frequency then hit apply again and then of course you know render it out and, and then yeah you know that's just it's up to your preference and see when I changed it they made a lot more keyframes right there. So, um, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I'll be making more After Effects tutorials. I don't know that much. I just started out with After Effects not long ago. So, um, I don't know that much. But uh, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, that's all she wrote. Alright, see ya.